I am on this beautiful morning just outside the Al Bakhar Fish Landing Center where the entire treasures and precious gems of the sea, seafood, shellfish, everything comes right here to this landing place. Not now, but since over a hundred years, the same practice has been happening. The fish has landed. Now let's see where it's actually sold because I need to pick up a bounty of fish for some really, really good dishes which I'm going to cook for you. I'm at the Polar Kandam Fish Market which is actually run by the Corporation of Kochi. Out here you find the best fish which is available here. A lot of hoteliers, restauranters and a lot of household people come here to buy their fish as well. Next to this is a fabulous beef market. So the Polar Kandam Beef Market, you can get some really, really good beef. And the beef in this state, Kerala, is absolutely prime. Right here in front of me, we have a sear fish, which is called the surmai. Now when you buy fish, when you're buying good fish, you have to make sure that the fish is fresh, obviously. Now to get the good quality fish, you press it, and it completely springs back straight away. Yeah. The eyes are beautiful, they are bright and they are not droopy. Look at this, absolutely delicious. I mean, I could eat this fish raw actually. Now, the gills, if you look, right here. Nice and fresh here. Beautiful, absolutely fresh fish. Let's check out what other fish they have here. Now look at this. This is what I call a true catch, 10.2 kilograms. Price about 520 rupees a kilo. So imagine this whole fish, you can buy this for 5000. You can get at least 20 to 30 portions from this, be it a curry, be it a steak. And this is called surmai or the kingfish. I feel like a complete king with this in my hand. This is how fresh the fish is. It's actually dancing in my hand. Okay? Now, this fish is called Pearl Spot or it's called Karmin, which is one of the most popular and the most delicious fish here. You can do a lot of creative dishes with this. Now, look at this stuff. Okay? Now, this, you have to scale it off. It's a flat fish and you get two beautiful fillets out of this fish. Now, if you're ever in Kochi or if you're in Kerala, the Pearl Spot is one thing which you have to try. Check it out. If you want to know anything about Karmin or the Pearl Spot, just ask me. Hey, welcome to my open dog kitchen in Kerala. Isn't this beautiful here? Today's recipe is called Meen Poli Chattu. In case I don't pronounce it right, now this is actually found in the backwaters and it's a river fish. And the reason why it's called a Pearl Spot is because it's got a black spot on its neck here. Now what I have done is, I have cleaned it out, we have scaled it, trimmed it and we have marinated with salt, pepper, oil, red chilli powder and turmeric. A standard southern Indian marinade for fish. Now first what we are going to do is we have to make the kind of the sauce or a masala with it. Now for that I am going to be using once again a little bit of coconut oil. Next we have some chopped onions here, some ginger and garlic paste. So once this starts kind of getting a little bit of brown, what you need to do is start adding your spices such as turmeric powder, coriander powder, yani ke dhania, red chilli powder, a little bit of black pepper. Now once the spices start getting clumped together along with the ginger, garlic and the onions, it's time to add your chopped tomatoes, a few curry leaves. Now when you want to make it really spicy, you do not add coconut milk into this, but what I'm going to do is I'm just adding a touch of coconut milk into this and this whole mixture is becoming a very nice molten mixture and my touch to this is fresh coriander along with the stems as well. Polichattu means wrapped in banana leaves and roasted or steamed, the choice is yours. If you want to do this a really healthy way, just mix it up all together, toss it together, cook your spices and then turn it over and steam the fish along in the banana leaves. Great, so my mixture is ready. 
Now what I will do is I don't want to lose the flavor in this pan. What I'm actually going to do is sear off my fish in the same pan. When you sear the fish, you actually seal the flavors so you have all the flavors retaining inside and the flesh is really juicy. And the second reason is that it reduces the cooking time inside the banana leaf. I've got my piece of banana leaf here into which I'm going to be adding a spoonful of my spice into this and then a piece of fish right on top there. Then a little bit of this masala on the top and to which I am going to actually make a parcel like this on the fish. You can pan fry this like what I'm doing it or literally you could steam this parcel over a wire rack in a wok or if you have a steamer or even an idli steamer will do for this. Put my parcel in here and in about three to four minutes your fish is going to be perfectly ready. Yes! Time to turn this over very nicely. So we have our fish and look the fish is beautifully cooked in its own juices and its own aroma. Next a nice sprig of coriander and a few chopped tomatoes and that is my Kerala style mean polichattu which means the pearl spot cooked with a fabulous sauce in banana leaf. If you want to know anything about this recipe, the mean poli chattu, just ask me. Welcome to my kitchen in Kerala. Isn't it beautiful out here? Now today's dish is not exactly a dish from Kerala, but it's inspired by Kerala. So it's a prawn dip with tapioca chips and vegetable crudities. Let's start cooking. Now I've got a little bit of coconut oil in here. We are going to add a few mustard seeds, not too many, curry leaves into this as well. Give this a nice mix. Next, some onions. Next, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of ginger. Beautiful fresh prawns from the market. Now, I don't like to use really big prawns which you get here like the tiger or the jumbo because after all, I'm going to be blending this. Prawns gone in here. Cover it a little bit. So quickly saute off the prawns. The idea is not to overcook them at all. Next, a little bit of lemon juice. A little bit of turmeric powder in this. A little bit of red chili powder. And a little bit of black pepper. A little bit of salt into this as well. Freshly chopped tomatoes. Some fresh coriander. And to top it all, some fresh coconut milk. Just about simmer it for less than a minute because by now your prawns are absolutely cooked. Transfer this into a pot or a bowl. You can also do it inside a food processor if you like. But I'm going to be doing this with my hand blender. I don't want to make it completely smooth, but I just want to make it like into a dip-like consistency. Sometimes you might have to adjust it with a little bit of water, stock or a little bit of coconut milk and continue blending. My Kerala style prawn pate is ready. I have here some delicious vegetable crudities such as carrots, some radishes, a few nice crunchy broad beans with this as well and not forgetting my favorite freshly made tapioca chips which you can buy in any good store. So my Kerala style prawn pate with vegetable crudités and tapioca chips just for you. If you want to really learn how to make a very good Kerala style prawn pate, just ask me.